From the mesmerizing blue dragon with its unique, angelic appearance, to the adorable yet lethal slow Loris, to the fiery fire salamander, <laughs> fiery fire, or the blue ringed octomus, or as I like to call him, the bro, the ferocious leopard seal, and more. These animals may be beautiful to look at, but I gotta tell you, they could kill you. And be sure to watch to the end. I've saved a major shocker for last. If this beautiful sea creature stings you, excruciating pain is a given. And in extreme cases, even death. And both are dreadful experiences, if you ask me. Also known as blue angels, the only angelic thing about these tiny sea creatures is their name and their stunning looks. They're blue, a characteristic that allows them to camouflage perfectly in with the uh, green waters of the sea. You know, no, blue waters, obviously. In fact, this is one more reason to be careful in the water, as these lethal creatures are almost invisible to the unkeen eye. And as if those aren't interesting enough facts, blue angels are also known to eat creatures many times their size. Interestingly, the blue dragon's venomous sting actually comes from the creatures it feeds on. Yeah, it's actually not venomous on its own. Venomous Siphonophorus and Portuguese Man of Wars are some of the creatures that the blue dragon feeds on. Whew, Mother Nature's a cunning one, isn't she? I mean, why would she allow such a cuddly primate to be so lethal? I don't get it. Despite having one of the cutest faces in the whole animal kingdom, the slow Loris packs enough venom to send you on a trip to the afterlife. Yeah. That's right. Fun fact, did you know that the slow loris is the only venomous primate, and it stores its deadly concoction in its elbows? Yeah. This venom is combined with saliva to produce a potent mixture that will kill you through anaphylactic shock. Will, so don't do it. Next time you see this creature, don't move close. Stay a safe distance away while you're looking at this one. You'll be like, oh my god, from a distance. Mostly found in European forests, the fire salamander emits toxins from glands on its skin that could make you sick, or worse, kill you. I guess that's worse depending on who you are, you know, a lot of people. Anyways, fire salamanders have these really cool vibrant orange or yellow markings on their black skin that look kind of like flames. A and get this, back in ancient times, people used to think that these salamanders were actually born in fires. One reason for this belief might be because fire salamanders like to hide under logs, so when people would gather those logs to build a fire, the salamander would run out of the flames. As for its defense mechanisms, uh, a fire salamander can actually spray poisonous liquid from its glands located behind its eyes when it's threatened. Yep, it can aim that spray right into the eyes or mouth of the predator it sees as a threat. Pretty cool. The bro. With enough venom to kill 26 humans, the blue ringed octopus makes our list of the most lethal, beautiful creatures without opposition. Yeah, there are at least four types of blue ringed octopus. Four bros, if you will all of which feature breathtaking rings that change color when threatened. Come to think of it, the threats are ever on overdrive because of the small size of this creature, which does not help keep predators away. Now, besides the venom, blue ringed octopuses can easily change their shapes and fit through all sorts of gaps, making it easy for them to escape predators. If you were to come across one, though, I'd recommend keeping your distance to avoid, you know, being bitten and maybe dying. That's kind of not fun. The leopard seal is a proven killer, a verified stone-cold mother blanker. At least, if, if the now-famous case of a marine biologist who was pulled underwater and drowned by the creature is anything to go by. But you wouldn't believe that these creatures are capable of such an atrocious act. Like other seals, they're super cute. They're charming, even. However, beneath all that seemingly innocent blubber, the leopard seal has a deeply concerning appetite for blood. See, while it mainly feeds on pengus, the leopard seal, uh, penguins, I shouldn't say it like that. The leopard seal can actively stalk and hunt you in the water. Speaking of, you really don't have the chance to fight against this creature. It's big, it's powerful, and it'll kill you. Hence the leopard in its common name. For this reason, it's really dangerous to study it, and it's also indirectly dangerous as it's known to attract the black pontoons of inflatable boats. You like the countdown so far, right? Well, why don't you smash that like button and subscribe? Because nobody else in the history of YouTube has ever asked anybody to do that before. I'm the first. I'm original. Anyways. Do you love collecting pretty shells on the beach? If yes, then you want to watch out for these creatures. And here's why. While cone snails use their nasty powers to kill tiny little fish, they can fire a harpoon that's strong enough to penetrate your wetsuit and give you a real painful sting. But the good news is that these creatures are often harmless to humans, save for the Conus geographus, which is slightly more deadly. Just one sting from it can have fatal results. Do you hate spiders? Well, look at this one then. 
Oh, once you know about the Red Widow Spider, your hatred for these pesky creatures is going to go through the roof. Let me give you the details. For starters, while the Red Widow Spider is very uncommon, it's a member of the Black Widow family, which, as you know, is highly venomous. Just one bite can be very, very harmful, with the female's venom known to cause sustained muscle spasms rather than local tissue injury. Now, the venom for all Widow Spiders is 10-25% to more potent than a rattlesnake. But interestingly, the volume of poison it delivers is a lot less than a rattlesnake. It's a little bit smaller than a rattlesnake. I kind of get that one. That said, did you know that getting bitten by a red widow spider can cause some serious symptoms? The most common symptoms include high blood pressure, sweating, vomiting, respiratory muscle weakness, and even seizures. Strangely, when someone gets bitten by a red widow spider, they may also experience a really stiff abdomen, which can be mistaken for appendicitis. The worst pain usually occurs during the first 8-12 to 12 hours after the bite, but other symptoms can last for several days. Before we move on to the deadly number three of this list, let's quickly recap our list. Number 10, Blue Dragon. Number 9, Slow Loris. Number 8, Fire Salamander. Number 7, Blue Ringed Octopus. Number 6, Leopard Seal. Number 5, Cone Snail. Number 4, Red Widow Spider. And with these Animal 7, I summon my mighty team of... No, they just sound, sound like names. Blue Dragon, I summon you! Blue Dragon attacks Slow Loris for Fire Salamander damage. What? Anyways. If you touch one of these frogs, you're gonna get a pretty hefty dose of an alkaloid toxin that will eventually stop your heart from beating. Even scarier, just one of these little guys has enough toxins to take up to 20 people out. So, yeah, it's gonna look real cute, real sunny. This little frog is not something you should mess with. It's actually more of a touch me and you'll die type of frog. These frogs can usually be found in the rainforest in the Pacific coast of Colombia, and sometimes in rainforest cafe. No, not that. And they have poison in their skin glands that they can use for protection against predators. It's not for hunting or anything like that. So, if you're ever in the rainforest of Colombia, be sure to admire the golden dart frog. Real close with your fingers. That's an obvious joke. Please don't kill yourself. Have you ever seen a swan up close? While they're related to geese and ducks, they're easily uh, the, the most beautiful and elegant of the three. But don't let their grace fool you. The mute swan is pretty fierce, especially during the breeding season. Male mute swans in particular are extremely territorial and considered one of the most dangerous birds in the world. I mean, if you think these geese are nasty, you definitely don't want to mess with a male mute swan. They are surprisingly dangerous, even compared to other swan species, because they're less vocal. What do I mean? You're not going to hear a warning cry before you get attacked. Forget about it. These guys are going to go straight for your eyes or bite you without warning. Almost all pufferfish are packed with a dangerous neurotoxin called tetrodotoxin, which is actually super duper hazardous for humans. Up to 1,200 times more poisonous than cyanide. That's right, that's enough toxin in one pufferfish to take out 30 grown adults. Now, you'd think that that's enough, you know, to keep people from trying to eat them, right? But in Japan, pufferfish is actually considered a delicacy known as fugu. But get this, even the most skilled and well-trained chef can't guarantee that eating it won't kill you. I mean, back in 1958, 176 people actually died from eating it. Wow, and they kept selling it. That's so crazy to even imagine. And since there's no known antidote, I really don't recommend you take that risk. No fugu for you. Now, what other deadly yet alluring creatures do you know? Which among these creatures scares you the most? Let us know in the comment section down below. And while you're at it, subscribe and share wildly or widely. I misread that. Remember to turn on notifications to get alert for future videos. I'm not changing this because no one listens to the end of videos anyways, right? Thanks for watching. Bye.